All right, people, welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play and some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. So, continuing on with Red Eyes Week, I guess, I went ahead and purchased the uh, Dragon Duel, was it Legacy of the Dragons, whatever, for Joey. Uh, I paid five bucks for it, you know. Uh, I funnel out some of the money with the money, so, of course, you guys know, I don't make too much money off of YouTube, but I make a decent amount if I save up, and by decent amount I mean very, very, it adds up, because I don't touch it, and it adds up, so, at a nice chunk of money, my PayPal account is at least enough to buy this DLC, so you see how I'm using your guys' support to give you guys more content, you see how it works, you see how it works, so, uh, yeah, I spent five bucks, and apparently it's just these two duels here, so, what a great purchase of five dollars, I get two whole episodes, wow, we. Alright, so, uh, we're gonna be doing, of course, this one right here, A New Evil. This episode, and then next episode, we'll be doing Fighting for a Friend. And then, I guess that's it for Joey's part. I said there's other DLC, I said it each costs five dollars, so hopefully there's more than just two episodes. But, I mean, we have plenty of content to go. Like I see, I, like I said, I apologize, uh, that this is the weekend content. This is not what you're looking for. Uh, like I said, League. I, I don't know about League. Like I said, some people, they're really on it. Some people definitely do what they're supposed to. Others, not at all. And while I keep saying, like, hey, you need, I need this duel. I need this duel. I need this duel. Days go by. Weeks go by. Months go by. And nothing happens. So, I don't know. I just hate relying on others. And uh, no live stream because I just got a new job. And I'm working during the weekend. So, uh, I just can't commit the time to actually doing a live stream. So, at least with this, I can record. Get you guys your content. Even though I'm not physically there at the time, because of course schedule upload. So uh, for now, we'll just stick with Legacy of Duels. Like I said, we'll do uh, uh, things per se. So I'll go ahead and just do all the DLC from uh, Duel Monsters, which I believe is like a little bit more in Duelist Kingdom than Joey's thing here, and I believe Yugi's thing. And then that'll be it. And then if need to, we can just go ahead and start on GX. But I kind of want to just do everything in this game eventually. But I know this game with all the DLC can get, definitely get priced. It can get upwards to like $100 plus the purchase of the game. So, yeah. <laughs> Cook the mads, make some money. No, no. It's fine. You know, uh, I'll get it eventually. You know, one step at a time. Anyway, let's hop into it. So, apparently we're Joey. We're dueling against Mai. We're maybe going to have the dragons and stuff like that. I think I remember this duel. Like I said, I didn't really watch the dragon series. That's when I stopped watching. So, it'd be nice if they put, like, the Noah in that part with the, in the virtual world. If they put that as DLC. But, hey, whatever. So, alright. After Yugi's Moto... Yugi Moto's victory over Merrick, Yugi collected all Egyptian god cards. However, it would, would not remain in his possession for long. Panic ensured as, ensued as real monsters appeared all over the world. Worse still, Yugi's Egyptian god cards were stolen by three unknown ass assailants? Really? Someone's trying to assassinate Yugi? No! How could this have happened? Grandpa, are you alright? Yugi, they're gone! Who's gone, Grandpa? Your cards! Your strongest cards! The god cards? Who did this? Yugi and his friends were at a loss on who could have stolen the cards when a package arrived in the mail. Hey kids, this came in the mail! Who's it from? I'm not sure. My eyesight's not what it used to be. Let's see here. It's from the office of Maximilian Pegasus. No, not Pegasus! What should we do? We should hear what he ha- We should hear what he has to say. After all, Pegasus did invent duel monsters. And you think he has something to do with what's been going on? Perhaps. Let's play the tape. And then you get the short graphics <laughs> stolen again. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> for me once, shame on you. For me twice, shame on me, right? <laughs> Greetings, Zuke boy. I'm sure you're aware that duel monsters are suddenly running amok all around this world of ours. I know who's really behind this. The only catch is, it's too risky to leave you any information on this tape. So that means you'll have to come and see me in person. Mm. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> There's no way we can trust that guy. What do you think, Yugi? Let's go. Pegasus may be our only hope. That's true. All right, then. I'm going. Then I'll be going right there beside you, pal. Count me in, too. Me, too. He's fine because they're first class, right? Thanks, guys. <laughs> I tell you, it's like I do like a weird kind of pseudo bridge voice and all that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just voice acting. Back in the ancient lair, the three card robbers, Raphael, Alistair, and Valon, 
meet their master, Darts. We located the Pharaoh, master. Unfortunately, we weren't able to capture his soul, but I never come back empty-handed. I present these cards to you. Excellent! The Egyptian God card. As long as... At long last, I finally possess the supreme force necessary to awaken the great beast. This, the time has arrived, my friends. Finally, after 10,000 years, the great Leviathan shall rise again. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like, I'm trying to do the abridged voice, but just, I can't do it. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> you want to do you. <laughs> I propose you with enough souls. You shall have the strength to do, to swallow, swallow the earth. No one will stop us. No one! <laughs> I will fight the Pharaoh, and this time I'll make sure we drain his power to feed the great beast, sir. <laughs> Why don't you try listening? It's really a wonderful skill. If you master it, you realize that we need more than a Pharaoh's soul. <laughs> then we'll need the others, too? I'll take Kyla. I also got my ally in someone. That feisty <laughs> little bloke, Joey Willard, this should be fun to take apart. <laughs> The Pharaoh and his friends are on their way to speak with the one we've been watching. Just make sure that you reach him before they do. Pegasus? To think I'd call you a bad listener, now go see Pegasus at the once. <laughs> you give your friends ride the industrial illusion. They were not greeted by Pegasus, but rather another familiar face. Hello, Pegasus. This place is completely empty. <laughs> I suspect the thieves that were after Pegasus may have already found him. And if that's the case, I'm sure they're expecting us. My, is that you? I'm not my. At least, not the my you knew. <laughs> what? You heard me? All right, gang, say hello to Pegasus. Uh, question? Why did you do that to him? Look, better start talking. What's the matter, Wheeler? Didn't you, didn't your little room with mine not go as well as you expected it to? And you? What are you? <laughs> why are you keeping these guys all for yourself, mine? Mind your own business, you laggy. These geeks are mine, so deal with it. Geeks, but we're friends, my. Please, my. Tell me this is a joke. You're on our side, remember? I was never part of your little play group, and now I'm gonna break you apart one by one. And Wheeler, I'm starting with you. You were holding me back from achieving true power, so say hello to my real friend, the Seal of Calcos. Oh no, not this. My, let's talk. There's got to be a way out of the, a way to settle this. I can't read. <laughs> Sorry, huh? What if we lose this duel? Lose their soul? Okay, so, uh, hopefully Joey has some decent cards. I believe this is where he gets, um, what dragon does he have? I don't remember what dragons. Like I said, I did not really watch this, uh, series at all, so... Alright, I just remember, I think this is where he gets a dragon, but I don't, is that Heraclinos? I think. I mean, I opened up with some pretty powerful cards, to say the least. At least I got Pot of Greed, so I can null and void the fact that she made me go first. Wow, double monster born. Alright, so it is Harmless. Alright, so she has Harmless, I said one monster from my hand to fill, the type, the fusion monster listed, blah 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 blah. Okay, so, that's fine, I guess. So, what fusion do I have? I just have the I just have the mallet, really? Oh my god! All right, and a spellcaster type monster. Uh, then it's like, can I like look at the card? Yeah. All right. First summon target one face of monster in the field. Equip this card. And if I attempt to battle the post monster, you can roll a six sided die and banish that monster until it turns. Blah blah blah. Two results. Okay. Well, I don't have a spellcaster right now, so I guess I won't be doing that. And then what do you do, sir? Um. Battle phase, this card can be destroyed at battle. During your battle phase, can be destroyed at battle. And then, that monster is just 5 minutes after 10 seconds. Like, Alright, I guess. Uh, not the greatest of cards, I must say. I mean, I got two monsters reborn, so that's strong, I guess. For now, I just summon the Rocket Warrior and then hopefully do the Skull Dice if she tries to attack over me. That's the best that I can do right now with my opening hand and what Joey's deck is, so. Alright, so, Cyber Harpy Lady, yeah, that's fine. Oh, shit. Alright, well, that means that you're up to, what, 3,000? So, I don't even believe that whatever I roll, like, even if I roll 6, you know, you would only go in down by 600 meters, 17, which means you're still stronger than me. So, either way, you're stronger than me, so, I'm fucked. Awesome, awesome, awesome. 
No, no, just let me die. I'm dead. I got it. Damn, I'm dead. Okay. Oh my god, this card's gonna drive me crazy. I can already tell this card's gonna drive me crazy. So, uh... Can I get something to do something with? Maybe like a spell cast type monster for my... No, no, I'm gonna get another dice. Awesome, awesome, awesome. No. Well, uh, I mean, the best thing I can do is... No! Stop! Shit! Cause I can monster and warn my, uh... My rocket warrior guy. Is it... Oh my god, like I said, this is gonna get annoying. Is that top drop permanent? No, until the end of this turn. So that means that I have to have another monster to be able to take her out. So, we battle, it means you go down by 500, which means you pretty much lose your 500 attack, which means you go back down to 18, and then my marauding cat damn, and what the fuck is he supposed to do, right? You know? Like, I would literally have to, you would go back down, I would literally have to roll 6 just to crash, so. Yeah, not the not the best to play. So the best thing I can possibly do is uh do double skull dice. That's the that's literally like the best I can think of right now is uh double skull dice. So great, great, great. Um Yeah, I'm I'm kinda of fucked. I'm kinda of fucked. Still just a little. Just a little. Uh the Joey, he did not open up that great. He did not open up that great at all, right? The double monster reborn is nice and all, but it's just like, what am I supposed to do with that, you know? And she's busting out freaking Cyber Harper Lady and equipping and doing all that great shit. Yep, she has some great heart. Like, she has like some of the best Harpy ladies. Like, what the fuck is going on here? Alright, so. I mean, mine as well. Damn, she's like, nah. Trap Jammer. Like, alright, I right. guess. Who the fuck plays Trap Jammer? Apparently her, so. Uh. Can I play the other one? Four. Alright. So she's like down by four and she's dead, but then she still gets to search in the end phase, so. I'm still down. I'm still. I'm still hurting right now. He says she doesn't have an echo deck, I don't have to worry about her exceeding. Wow, another one. Wow. So. There's really not too much I can do right now. Like, that's a sad thing. I wish I could exceed. Oh, yeah, I fucked up. I should've went marauding, then summoned him. I could've took her out. God damn it, I misplayed. I misplayed. Alright, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. I'm going to lose. Because if I would've been marauding, then him, then I could've attacked, attacked, dropped her by a thousand. And then I still would've been too weak, actually. Because I would've still only been twelve. Fuck! Like... This, this, this cover right here is fucking me, and I'm not drawing anything with Joey. Like, what the fuck, Joey? Thanks. Like, maybe if I would've stood, that trap jammer, like, she just, she just, she has my fucking number. She just called up Joey and said, hey, hey, yo, bitch, we'll beat that ass. Like, I can't, can't think of anything to do. Like, like I'm, I might as well scoop right now. She's out-resourcing me, she's out-playing me, she's just out everything me right now. I would literally have to get, like, a fucking... <sighs> fucking Harpy's Pet Dragon, like, fucking 31, like, wow. Can I get, like, Dark Holder Geki, please? Please? That, yes, uh, awesome. Another fucking Claw of Hermos when I don't even have a fucking Spellcaster! Like, fucking, just scoop. Yeah, just scoop. I wanna, I wanna quit. Uh, campaign, go back, and rematch me. Let's fucking skip. Like, do this again, because... Clearly, I was not going to win that. Like, it was going to be over next game. Next turn. Like, wow. That was an awful hand. Like, I did not have the luck of the Joey. Not at all. Not at all, not at all. Can I get a better hand? Can I at least get red eyes or something? Well, at least I got copycat this time. It's a little bit better. Once again, I got freaking Claw of Hermos, so that's great. That's great. That's, that's not great at all. Like, this hand... I'd say this hand is worse. Yeah, I'd say this hand is worse. So, I have a spellcaster type monster this time at least. Well, I'm just gonna, just gonna end my turn. So it's, the copycat seems like it'll be really great. It seems like it will be really great. But, it depends on what I do with it. Oh, trap gamer, yep. Same play? Oh no, better play this time. Fucking shit. 
So I can go Clara Hermos and then do the, the rod and then equip it to like the Marauding Captain and then any monster that it battles me is apparently banished. So that's not terrible. I can just special summon him because you control two monsters. You're a beast. Why, why is this even in my fucking... What is this? Okay, sure. Sure. So let me read this again. Uh, monster. Um, don't know the way. So let's let me target one place and monster in the field. Equip this card. As a start of the damage step, this card balance plus monster, you can roll a six die, die, and banish to the result. Okay, sure. Ugh, like this deck sucks! Sure, I'll summon this fucking Neko Neko, whatever. Actually, I probably could have equipped it to the Neko. Whatever. Actually, it doesn't fucking matter. Sure, I call it Hermos, so I can actually go for this hammer thing. Joe, your fucking deck sucks. Your fucking deck sucks, Joey. Can I at least get an attack? I don't even get an attack. Can I at least gain the 500? That would have been nice, but no. I am getting the fucking 500. I'm getting shit. So this is a 4, right? So I can just banish you now before we battle, right? You banish for 6 turns. Get out of here. Nice. Actually, not bad. Oh, well, it's not like it battles and pose monsters, so it just... Period. Alright, that's fine. Alright, so... We might actually have something here. We might actually have something here. If I can just... If we if I banish before we battle every time, then, we, like I said, I can just keep moving your cards out of the way and keep uh, hitting you for 22. This might be the way that we win this. Wow, for only one turn? Hmm. It would be nice if it was a couple turns, but alright. And it's a battle period, so if she comes after me, then I could still use my effect, you know? Uh, so I had to come back. <coughs> she doesn't have any XC monsters, so at least that's nice. So at least I don't have to worry about her, you know, like seeing to like Castell, because Castell would seriously fuck me. Oh, great, time was here. Alright. So go ahead and banish this for how many turns? Five. That's a nice chunk. And then we'll just kill her. Alright, go ahead. So keep it up, Hammer. Did he use Time Wizard? I'm assuming he used Time Wizard with it. Oh shit, she does heal over a cow Oh, okay. Well, then I'll just make her lose her soul. <laughs> Alright, so that comes back. Which is fine. Uh, you're level 6, right? Yeah. So. I should just set this, then... Oh, it's stronger than me. Can I get a couple of turns? Four? That's plenty. That's plenty. But that's still a Vori Calico, which makes her super fucking strong, so shit. An additional 500 pack is nothing to scoff at. This hammer's putting in work, though. And then the finest. Then I went. Well, nothing returns yet. It's, that might be game. That might be game, fuck girl. Alright, so it should be one monster. It should be this stricken time wizard's not doing anything. And then summon yet another fiend mega cyber. He's a cyber's type. And tac tac game. Hey, you know what? It's not lit. Not bad. And I can see how that won him in the duel. <laughs> Just move the monsters out of the way before we even battle. Nice. I can't lose. I can't go back there. I give up everything just to be a winner. Hey, my. I can't lose. I won't go back there. I have to win. Oh, well. She lost. Valion, what are you going to do? With this fragment of the Arikaka stone, I unlock the seal. Joey, are you alright? Joey. What were you thinking, Valion? You betrayed Master Darth and risked your own soul. And you mean to tell me you did it all just so you could save some girl, Valion? She's not just some girl. Where's my? Did those punks take her? Guess so. Yeah, she's gone. Oh no, I was so close. I gotta get you back, my. Alright. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that second duel, like I said, that hammer definitely won me that duel. So, I guess next to is fight for a friend, well, I guess we'll be dueling to get my back against Valion. So, uh, this was kind of a long episode, which is fine, which is fine. 
So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of Doha. So, uh, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, that bell for notifications. Of course, I'll be back tomorrow with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! related content. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support, and I will see you guys next time. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.